Hello everyone, happy Easter. This little video is uh, mostly done by my friend Judy and you have seen her here um, on this channel and providing some uh, vignettes. Um, most of the time she provides photos to which I put uh, some dialogue and turn it into a little video for you. Um, she does not like to do video, uh, but together we came up with this little project and um, she provided me with the photos. Um, I hope that you enjoy it and uh, take some inspiration from this. Along with the photos, uh, Judy also supplied me with some text, so I'll just be reading that. The first photo is a box of woodsies. Um, she says, I have a weakness for woodsies that various dollar stores sell. I have them for every season and I often find uses for them in my mini scenes. The second photo uh, shows the unpainted eggs. Then she shows how she has painted the back of three eggs. She says, I like to paint or glue paper to the back of the wooden items to prevent them from warping, which is a great idea because some of these woodsies, they need painting on both sides. The uh, wood will warp. Number four pick shows the distress inks. Um, she uses paints, pens, distress inks to color the edges of the wooden eggs. Then uh, there is a picture of three strips of paper. I wanted plain eggs, she says. So in this case, paint would not work. I found three coordinating scrapbook papers in Easter colors and applied them to the front of the eggs. Then a box of wooden letters. She pulled out the word hop, so H-O-P, and painted those letters using the same process as she did with the eggs. She glued the eggs together and added the letters. Then added a stick to turn the eggs into a floor sign or can be left as it is for a wall sign. She says, I wanted to add mine to the front of an Easter cabinet I was putting together. And here is the Easter cabinet. It is unpainted. That's the first photo. I uh, had a craft cabinet with a broken door. I removed both doors and the heavy molding, feet and the base of the cabinet. This gave me a bookshelf for my project. I painted all sides white and then a coat of my final color. I find painting white first makes the final coat a truer color. And then the cabinet here showing the uh, sign hop attached. I found some uh, wooden letters um, and spelled the word spring. These next uh, two photos uh, were um, cutouts that I did on the Cricut. They're foam and I did it to look like um, eggs and um, shapes, uh, Easter shapes, uh, little rabbits and carrots and chickies uh, or what, what we call those little chicks. Um, and uh, Judy put them onto a simple plate and then she put them onto a nice decorated, uh, decorative kind of plate. Um, and as I mentioned, Judy loves little vignettes, so she added them onto this adorable table with the little rabbits. Um, and then also a bench uh, with the little um, plates and uh, Easter basket, etc. Uh, then she provided me with a photo of the entire um, shelf showing all the little things that she had put together, a little streamer again with the rabbits. The rabbits were also cut out of foam, craft foam from the cricket and uh, she put them on a string and displayed them. Then um, the next uh, bit, I felt a little bit guilty that I had not uh, put any, um, any of my own um, make into this little video. So uh, I made a little uh, topiary and as you know, I like my topiaries and this was a little Easter topiary. I cut out the carrots into shades of um, orange. Then I painted the tips um, just with a nail polish, uh, green nail polish to look like the, the, the tops of the carrots. Then I found a little um, beach uh, pail um, and I inserted some uh, Play-Doh inside in the bottom, put some glue and added some greenery on top. Uh, the little um, egg shape, which is going to be the top of the topiary, that is just Play-Doh I formed into an egg shape. Then I uh, stuck a toothpick um, with some glue onto the center of the egg rolled the egg into some uh, white glue 
which then uh, just covering the the egg or the the play dough after it actually I had dried a little bit and then I added some flocking which I had um, you just uh, you know poured a little flocking on top um, it's just a little fuzzy stuff on top of the um, the egg shape once that was dry um, I had to wait for the toothpick to actually dry, put a little bit of uh, crazy glue inside there to dry it quickly. I started to apply the carrots from, I started at the top down and I did use crazy glue so that it could go on. Foam doesn't really like white glue or um, the, the regular uh, craft glue. So I used um, crazy glue to apply the little carrots, had some uh, little um, bunny rabbit faces and uh, that was it. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit like and um, subscribe if you haven't already and leave some comments. See, Tell me what you think. Don't forget to come back for the next one. Thanks for watching.